Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you for Tuesday, August the 13th, 2024. And if you see how the numbers and the cards are matching this day, that's basically how you should feel, that you are in synchronicity listening to your intuition, understanding what you're receiving from within. All is moving along as it should, though it doesn't seem that way. So focus more on, again, your desires more than what you think the problems of the moment are. They will dissipate. They will find a solution. This day will help you with that. Your intuition will rise higher and higher if you just choose to be that way and trust that you really are receiving from the Divine Ones, and that you are divine, first of all. Let go of that self-blame. So we just release all that comes up as fear, as stubbornness, as negativity. What doesn't serve you? This doesn't serve you, basically. Because the Archangel who has come forward, the most unconditional form of light, first of all, will never even enter your space without your permission. So see, already feel so much in command and so important that you get heavenly help by asking and being just who you are. You don't have to change a thing about yourself. If you see also the vision that is in front of you, this pure green and white and golden light just pouring through endlessly, tirelessly, forever as you need it, giving you that one word right up there, peace. What form of peace do you seek? Is it peace for finances? Peace for your stomach? (laughs) Peace, Peace for just being able to laugh that you've forgotten how to laugh? Peace for just losing angry situations and coming back to that sense of peace again in conversation, in relationships, in decision making, in your daily life, whatever it is, wherever you've lost peace, ask for that to understand that first and foremost. That's why that simplify and declutter card also is there along with Archangel Azrael, helping you simplify your thoughts, fill them with love, with this pure form of love that is just coming and pouring down your crown endlessly as you need it, as much as you need it, whenever you need it. Keep on asking. Just release the past and leave it behind. Because Archangel Azrael is often not called upon from the angelic realm because People think he's only to do with that form of death that takes you straight to God, that you lose your human human body and your divine chance to be here and you die, basically. A cruel death. Let that fear also go if that's one of your fears. You're very much in the hands of of the Divine Ones as a precious Divine Child who deserves the best and is receiving the best through this canopy of light that's coming. There's a gate. There's a gateway behind behind Him that's open, prosperous, abundant, flowing, alive. That's you, very much alive, very much receiving, very much growing and glowing and abundant in every way. What form of abundance do you seek? What form of prosperity do you seek? It's not just always to just do with finances. Where do you feel you're still lacking or limited or need help or need expression and understanding of the same? Because, see, there's gateways also on the left and right side of him that this Holy Gateway is helping to open 
to clear, to cleanse, to change. Change whatever it is you want to change. It doesn't serve you. It's irritating you. What purpose does it serve as of now to be irritated? Ask it to be cleansed and cle- cleansed and cleared for the better. And all those holy trees that are standing up are bringing in only that which serves you from your past, that which is your foundation, your strength, your holy divine team, you can say, of mind, body, and spirit, everything. Whatever is important to you. This is not the definition of the past and the definition of your foundation as your foundation. It's your foundation. You're standing tall and strong because of it. Whether it's Reiki, whether it's your spiritual life, the spiritual life you received from your parents and those foundations, the moral understanding you got from your parents, definitely honor that this day. Stand tall, proud, strong, happy that yes, I am who I am. And I choose to be me. The choice, remember the choice we keep on doing every day? Yes, this choice is very much with you. So choose and bring it. Because if you see where his hands are going, this glow coming from his palms, is basically helping you bring in, first and foremost from your left side, your past, how it aids you, how it helps you, how it helps to uplift you and rise and change very gracefully. It's all gracefully happening, right? Nothing is banging each other. And then the right side, that same light is flowing down his shoulders into his palms. And this time, the light and the holy dove now, if you see the dove above him, is helping to remove all forms of obstacles and delays, reasons for procrastination, wherever it is that you have denied yourself your dreams. You've not even spoken about your dreams to your own self. You're just too busy dealing with complaining and feeling sad and feeling lost most of the time. So he's saying, look back at me, dear one. First and foremost, cleanse everything just because. Even if you don't know what it is, I just want it gone. Release the past and know that there's a more enriching future coming. See those words? Choose those words now. Whatever that enriching future is, what is best for me, how I can walk into my future tall, proud, strong, happy, encouraged, looking forward to it in every way. I choose that. Like a child, I believe in my wishes again. And I pick up each wish for each realm of my life. Peacefully, gracefully, and you can choose even one of these colors throughout the day to be that ray of light that guides you, supports you, surrounds you, and is within you. And even in the conversations you speak, perhaps in the clothing that you wear, what you eat, choose it in any exciting and creative way for yourself. Because Archangel Gabriel is also very much aiding this process of creativity and, and coming back to a sense of vibrancy. So Archangel Azrael and Archangel Gabriel can be partners then for you and the same way you see then the right side has tall trees standing there and becoming your future the future you want to walk into so whatever you want to do in terms of angel therapy or any form of therapy spiritual therapy 
changes you want to bring into your environment, into prayer, into invocation, into connection with the Divine Ones. What you even pray about, sometimes we even censor ourselves over there. Let go. See those words? Let go and let God. Let the Holy Ones take over. Don't carry all the burdens on your back. And don't try to accomplish everything on your own. Help, help, help is definitely there. Why three times? Because that's what makes mind, body, spirit merge together. And then you can call upon the angelic forces in a more conscious manner. And they will come forward. Remember, they do not come without your asking. That cannot be emphasized enough. That's why it's always repeated. It's repetitive. That we are here, dear one, but we will only come and give you this peace and help you emerge if you ask. Because they will never, ever cross your free will, whatever it might be. For you to stand tall like this, ask Archangel Azrael then to help this day shine and sparkle your life to shine and sparkle, as it should. And then you decide what's important, what's your priorities. Let that flow literally down into this holy this seems to state or look like hair, right? It's just hair flowing down. No, it's not. It's golden flow, waters, holy waters, the Holy Spirit coming down your left side to help cleanse your past and all regrets are then washed away and the right side is the Holy Spirit flowing into your hair or what seems to be like hair. to rise above all forms of fear for your future. Just release the past and let it go. How many times the same concern comes up during the day? Do not be shocked, do, do not be shocked or surprised. To say, oh, it came up again. How do I deal with this? What is the therapy for this? How do I solve this? All the Divine Ones, my Divine Friends in the Angelic Realm, help me. Archangel Azrael, help me achieve a sense of peace. And then if it's your chakras, or one of your chakras, or all of your chakras acting up, or being stubborn, or negative, or not receiving, non-receptive, change that. But just... <laughs> Relax and let it go. That's why it says, let it go and let God. Don't hold on to anything that does not serve you or is negative or is troublesome or worrying. And if it comes up again and again, then and again and again, find a way to deal with it. And this day you will. Just be kind with yourself. Kindness cannot be emphasized enough this day. Be superbly filled with love and compassion orb if you need to ask for orb to come through the holy dove and sit somewhere within you to help you with that process not just for yourself for others for your environment for any concern you have any form of focus you've given to a prayer to a pattern to a wish to movement to clarity whatever it might be just keep on relaxing. But keep on saying these words and put them then into the holy white roses that are on the bottom of his feet. And wherever it goes, let it go then. You have a space now at least to focus on. It's not that it's just going into the esoteric space and you're like, where is it gone? It's right there in front of you. Changing this very day. Signs will appear 
clarity will appear, forms of application will appear. If conversation is needed, that will come. Prayer, if that is needed, who you need to connect to, why you need to do certain things, therapy, all forms of prayer and spiritual activity will be highlighted. Let's put it that way. So just look at these words again. How peaceful do you feel? Throughout the day, keep on asking yourself, why am I not at peace today? Or why am I not at peace at this moment, in time when all the Divine Ones are helping me? And if it's specific, why am I not peaceful about? Archangel Azrael, help me understand that. Archangel Michael, help me cut away all those negative cords that I'm holding on to for my own good. And you're doing yourself a favor. And then, go ahead and say this affirmation. To simplify and declutter both objects and items from your life that are not for your highest and best good. I now take charge of my home and my schedule. I ask my angels to guide me on giving time to my highest priorities and cleaning my home of all items that no longer serve me. So my living space reflects who I am Outwardly, I ask for a feeling of simplicity and joy to be with me as I eliminate all that drains me from my life. Now you might say you're a person who's working and this is speaking about home. It's not just saying physical home. You, you as a person, If you're not at peace, of course you're holding on to things that do not serve you. Let them go. And keep on finding whatever that reason is, whatever that pattern is. That moment when that thought comes, do not push it aside as you always do. This time, take care of it. And so... Archangel Azrael will become a good friend, one that you don't avoid. And go ahead and release all the old then, the old forms of thinking, the old forms of reaction, all the drains, all that is tiring. You're fed up with it, right? You don't want to deal with it anymore. So release that and know that you don't need anything As prediction, there's a more enriching future coming because you chose to not be miserable anymore, to accept love and joy and peace and all that is due to you as a human being, to be, to be joyous and happy in every realm of your life, to express, to express positively, but to know that you have a chance to succeed. Sometimes you give up on your dreams just doing that only. Now when will it happen? Again, keep on looking at him. And co-create as much as you can. Then you don't feel so victimized. And you decide and you move forward. You will move forward. You see every part of this landscape is poised for your success. They want you to succeed. They want you to move forward. They want you to know. They want you to try. So let go and let God. And use that affirmation so many times. That's what's been given to you. As many times as you need this day. Keep on calling upon the angelic forces in every way. Angels of help me with. Achieve peace for. And you decide then in your own way. In your own timing. 
and for your own need. Be as detailed as you want, as many times as you want for the same reason. Nothing is held back from you. In fact, more knowledge will come the more you ask and the more you will feel then more in charge and co-creating with God and the angels. They want you that way. The holy child, smiling, laughing, sweet and loving. That's you. That's your truth. It's always been there and it always will be. So this comes to you then so beautifully from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and the Holy Wise Words and Beautiful Therapy and Holy Lessons come from Radley Valentine. Radley can be reached at capital M A G I C A L capital T H I N G S dot com and the holy light just pouring so gracefully peacefully and it helping you achieve this peace so easily and effortlessly and magnificently I would say <laughs> comes through the art of Jeff Bedrick. Jeff can be reached at VEC Apologies. It is B E D R I C K S T U D I O S dot com. Bedrick Studios dot com. I will repeat that again. B E D R I C K S T U D I O S dot com. This is the artwork of Jeff Bedrick. And this, again, the name of the oracle cards are Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And everything else you need will be there in your details with your video. And this is Tina, signing off for now. So enjoy this day and simplify and declutter, achieve peace in every way. It's assured for you. So just claim it and enjoy it. Bye for now.